Okay, Jeremy, this is your Schnauzer puppy. We're gonna give it a haircut, so I thought you would like to see how I do it. Sometimes it's easier if I leave a collar on them when I first start, but I think I'm gonna take this one off and then put it back on. So, everybody asks me what kind of clippers I use. I've used Bravera. I love these, they're battery operated, or I can plug them in and use them with electric, but it always shows me how much battery I've got. So, it's noisy in here. We've got puppies getting groomed. They're not liking the dryer. And so they're gonna be noisy. So I'm cutting her pretty short because I know in two weeks before they grow home, this is gonna grow out. You got a little patch of dry skin on it, don't you? All right, so I'm gonna go right down around the butt and go right down that side, which leaves me this little fuzzy palmy tail sticking out. I'm gonna cut her across here. Give her a little bit of a hygiene clip and then I'm gonna shave this tail. Plus it's noisy out here because we've got, oh my gosh, Mimi's is up here, Ginger's are up here. Um, we've got Fergie's is up here. It's a noisy place right now, that's for sure. All right, so I'm gonna go a little bit, let's see where I'm at on this side. Yeah, you look good. I don't think I'm going any shorter. I might actually pop that part right there in just a titch. All right, so let's go up over her head. I do not cut the hair off their ears. And I would not cut anybody cut it off till they're at least eight months old, unless you're gonna have the ears cropped. If you're gonna have their ears cropped, then absolutely have it cut off. But if you cut it off now off their ears, they can absolutely learn to hold their little ears up like jackrabbits. And everybody behind Vanessa is watching us and crying or tearing newspapers up or doing something that they shouldn't be doing because I can hear them. And these guys are really pretty good about this. Uh, this is the first time they've had an all over cut. They've had their faces trimmed they get a little bit wiggly when you get up around their face for the first time. You can tell it's going to be playtime in here about now anyway, so it's going to get noisy. That's actually Ginger's puppies. All right, so when I do their face, I'm going to cover this eyebrow up. I'm going to go right down by the middle of the face, but I'm going to hold that eyebrow over there, and I go in here at an angle so I don't take that eyebrow off. And then I kind of go around the face this way. So I leave them an eyebrow. And then I go right inside the ear and I go right down along that eye. We're gonna give her a schnauzer face with a little bit of a mustache. Changes the whole look of them once you get this done. I'm gonna hold this ear back here so I don't take off the hair off her ear. You're backing off the table, Tootsie. And I know Vanessa always has a hard time keeping up with me because I'm moving all over the table with them. I'm gonna make this side just a titch shorter. I'm trying to look down on top of her and see, make sure both sides are kind of even, Steven. My husband always says the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut is two weeks. So in two weeks, you'll be shocked how much she grows out. So if you do this at home, if you screw it up, you know what? Oh well, it'll grow out. You can start all over next time. A lot of people follow where I've done it when they get them home. I do trim this stuff off that's sticking out all around her ear right here. So I just kind of go in here and take that off. I take off that little tip right there. All right, so we've pretty much whacked out the most of this and we're about done. This is just a quick, and this is our version of my Schnauzer cut. So. If anybody out there is watching and decides to get really nasty on YouTube, you do it your way and I'll do it my way. But I really don't wanna hear about it because like I said, this is my way, might not be your way, but this is how we like them. I think they're cuter than a bug this way. Let me get a pair of scissors. I don't wanna leave her sitting there, so take her with me. Whoops, as I fall over the groom table. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is pull all the pieces off of here She's got a little bit of a high spot right there. So when I trim my eyebrows off, 
I pull these out and I really don't have this one trimmed to where I really want it. I'm gonna go back up there, see what that does to it. I think it's because I need to take a little bit off of this side. That's better, that was it. All right, so I pull these eyebrows out. I get the ear out of my way and I'm gonna lay these right along her face and just cut straight out. I don't really cut this tip off unless it's really long out there. And I go right in here and I trim this one off. So it gives her these cute little tiny pair of eyebrows. And I don't like her eyebrows, so I gotta look at them. You're pretty bushy up here, Tootsie. We're gonna take some off the top. I can't do it backwards, so I had to look at her. I'll show you here when I get her done. I kind of took another little bit off the top of them, which let them come back out really nice. So that is basically, I just kind of go right down to the ear where it starts. But if you shave this off and she learns to hold them up, she's gonna look like a jackrabbit and they'll never go down if they do that. So, and the other thing is when you rub them at night or you got them on your lap, you can pinch this ear down and you can bend it and you can rub the crease. You can also put some vitamin E up here underneath of this. Cause what you want to do is when these hang down, it eventually bends the cartilage and the cartilage never lets them stand back up. So that way it makes it really nice that way. So I hope you have enjoyed her haircut. It was pretty easy. She's cute as a button and uh, she's not sure she knows what we've done to her. She's still shaking, but that's okay. She says, it'll be all right. I'm not gonna baby her. Um, she's gotta get used to it cause she's got a lot of, a lot of life with a lot of haircuts. So, all right, hope you have a good one. And we'll put her blue collar back on her. She's got more room now with her neck off. You'll be able to spot her much easier in this week's video. Talk to you later.